Hello and welcome to Minecraft Minecraft with Dark Force EOS. Today we're gonna be playing some more Minecraft, but we're gonna go back on my server and I got some plugins. I got multi world and I got solar apocalypse and I got monster apocalypse. And I'm gonna start all of them in the same world just for just for fun. Just because I feel like starting an apocalypse of epic proportions. So in this specific mode, I'm making it so that zombies and any it's zombie apocalypse basically. Zombies can break blocks and will nerd pull basically build little towers to or air bridge build across gaps to access where you are. And the solar apocalypse mod burns anything all grass anything above ground trees stuff like that. So it's going to get significantly harder when I start it. Just just wait. It's going to get horribly hard. And when it does, I'm not sure I can do it. So we're logging into the server now, and then I'm going to create a world on World Gen and TP and go to it. And after I go to it, we're going to do some stuff. Like, I don't know, maybe burn the world with, you know... Nerd pulling zombies and giant sun that decides to be like derp. In the last level, it rains lava from the sky, so that ought to be fun. Let's, uh, it's actually supposed to be just like the mod, the original mod, the Solar Apocalypse mod, back in 1.2.5 and 1.4.6, so it's gonna be fun. Alright, so let's hit, first of all, we're gonna hit World. Gen, and if it accepts that command, it should say, ask me what I want to name it, and stuff like that, and after that, then I can generate a world that's, no, alright, generate, let's try gen. I'm not sure exactly what I need to, to type in, but I know I have to type in something. And I know that this is not, let's type help real fast. <coughs> I know... That let's try help nine. Okay. First of all, we still have under undisguise stuff like that. Let's try help eight. I'm just gonna sit here and go through all these pages until I find the world edit command so I can create. All right, let's try world create. Ah, world. Okay, let's try help seven. Script, scoreboard, say, save on, save off, set name, removes an item from your, or save, sets an item from your name, speed, shows the world seed. Let's hit help six. Come on. Op gives op, blah, 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 blah. All right, help five. Come on. Here we go. Multi world. All right, multi world. Now, if we type MW help, wait, what? MW help. Okay, so this is the help text. Shows the help for advanced world management. Let's just type user. Um, oh yeah, M W create. Okay, there we go. Apocalyptia, I guess is what we'll call it, but that's an actual movie. Anyway, we're gonna call it that because it's gonna be all about apocalypse. We're gonna call it. We're gonna make it. Hmm. Just normal. So, survival, I guess, and well, that's probably not a op world type. We'll just say large biomes, because I know that's an argument. And then we'll make the seed creeper's paradise like the last one. All right, ready? Okay. For world value, nah, I'm not even going to worry about it. Creating worlds, once it's generated, it's going to make me lag for a minute while it's creating the world. 
So if you notice, there's mobs all over the server. And this is a different world. So I created the second world. All right, so let's type MW go to, oh wait, to Apocalyptia. Oops, now it's taking me there. Oh, it timed out, fudge. All right, go back, come on, join server. Logging in, sorry about that, I timed out. So minute the server loads and everything fixes and I don't have to do all my thinky talk and actually do some stuff, you guys we are gonna be playing some solar apocalypse or maybe uh monster apocalypse depends on if things work if monster apocalypse is what works and i'm gonna spawn them in this world and it looks like monster box is actually kicking in on its own but monster apocalypse is supposed to turn on all right ma start if that works eh, it doesn't let me start it without I have to memorize the command, so let's hit. Hmm. All right, let's hit MW go to Apocalyptia. All right, three, two, one. Whoosh! I like that. That's that's creative. Okay. The minute the world loads and I'm not falling to my death, here we go. Now, now here comes the fun part. I'm gonna clear my inventory. Yes, I'm gonna clear my inventory. Clear. Now, I'm going to hit APOC start. So if I hit APOC admin, APOC admin start. Now, if I hit start, it's going to say it's starting the apocalypse. Uh, oh, okay. APOC start apocalyptia. One second. I'm recording. You need to walk away, please. I want to walk. No, Eden. No. Go. Now. Aaron, can you please help me here? What? They're sitting here, and they're going to end up talking while I'm recording and getting in my videos, and I don't want them to. Either way. I will, I will not get in this video, but I'm still going to watch this. All right. Sorry about that. My sister is throwing a temper tantrum. It's day zero. We need to start now. Things are not getting good. We got to go. So, we have one day before that sun comes out and we're all screwed. Oops. Game mode zero. So, now we got to, first of all, our first goal is we've got to collect saplings. We have to get at least one and then we can survive on a hopeful scent that I don't have to live eating rotten flesh for my life. So, let's just get smart about things here. There's two things I'm going to have to worry about. I have to get leather armor because at night the um, the cold can actually kill you. And during the day the sunlight can catch you on fire. But I don't have to worry about that till day three when everything kicks in. So I have literally two days above ground and things are going to start burning the minute this day is over. But I don't have to worry about that until tomorrow. So what we're going to want to do is work on setting up the world and getting wood and things like that because we won't have that anymore after so we're gonna have to build an underground tree farm and all kinds of stuff in order to survive because we won't have the conveniences of oh that's right all right so we won't have the conveniences of anything after this unless we collect some saplings and there's a good cave to hide in so what we need to get is supplies we have two saplings that's plenty ow all right we need supplies, we got supplies, let's get in this cave quickly, creeper, crap, alright, now this is my new skin, just so you know, I didn't get to show you, um, it's pretty dang awesome, alright, for some reason, ah, uh, get away from me, no, 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 creeper, 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 hate creepers, get away from me, I don't like you, get away, mm, no, 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 get away from me, for Narnia, sucker. That's right. Sit down. Oh, thanks for the saplings. Alright. Well, I guess that's one way to fight a creeper. But I lost all my wood. Fudge face. Stupid. Okay. Now first, we're going to need that crafting table. The minute my... Uh... 
mouth stops being a butthead. Anyway, so we got the crafting table. Place here. We're gonna have to survive underground, so we're gonna need wood. Of course, they blew up my only source of wood. So I'm gonna need some of that. Good thing I've got a day and a night, and probably tomorrow. I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm willing to actually risk getting burnt to a crisp. But for now, my main goal is to avoid the lethal mob. So, Squid, why are you so derpy? Why did you derp so bad? Why? Why? No, why? 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 Seriously, why? Why, dude? Seriously, come on. Alright. So this grass and this trees are going to start burning up soon. And honestly, I'm not too excited. It's a little terrifying. Let's just hope we can uh, get stuff before more creepers go uh, creepers go creeping on us. Because that's a little annoying when that happens. Skeleton. Don't even, skeleton. I can hear you. Sounds like he's behind me. Something's wrong with my mouse. Like, something's seriously wrong with my mouse. It doesn't want to click it. Well, actually, this actually makes sense. I don't have to click and hold, but it just it's, it seems to be doing something wrong, and I don't like it. So, I used to be able to just click, click and pick up, but now it's not doing that. So, let's grab some items. We're going to need weapons, of course. See, it doesn't also, it just, it's starting to really make me angry. Grab this. Make some weaponry. First of all, we're gonna need something to survive the night, so we're gonna need this. And then we'll take this and put that there, and that there, and that there, and that there. Okay, okay. Anyway, place that there. Craft a pickaxe. Maybe I should focus on collecting wood. Let's create a wooden axe and then put this stuff in my inventory because we're going to need it. Dirt's going to be very plentiful in this world, so... Alright. First of all, we have a day and a night to survive. But... So, first thing we're going to want to do is go back to the forest or a tree or something and collect some more wood. Because eight saplings, though that's a lot for a first day, is not going to be enough for me to collect wood when I need wood. The only other source of wood I can find later on would be a um, um, abandoned mine shaft that has wood. So, you know, I just kind of have to focus and kick it in the high gear. Because if we don't find weaponry, well, we could just find weapons and tools inside chests. But I'm not going to cheat and I'll probably end up dead in the next three days. But it, it spans over five days and the multiplier, the, there's a multiplier that multiplies the days a lot longer each day. So, each day the multiplier gets longer and longer until, of course, everything goes down and it starts raining lava during the day and it gets so cold at night that you have to be near torches or else you can get hurt from the cold. So, yeah, we gotta start building. And what's not a recommended idea is to decide to start an apocalypse and build your house out of wood. That's just not smart. So, I'm going to try and do the whole night and the whole day, and then the start of the next day, which is when things start to go down, the grass starts to die, and everything starts to fall apart as the great sunlight destroys everything. And they said global warming sucked. <laughs> um, all right. So we got everything we needed. We need to go back in the cave. Let's go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I swim really slow. I am no Michael Phelps, that's for sure. Get in that stupid cave, dumb butt. Thank you. Okay. Now, I apologize if you guys can't see, but I'm going to see just fine because I'm awesome. No. It's, uh, I have my brightness up, so you may or may not be able to see. If you can't see, uh, please don't scream, Kyle. I can't see on the camera screen or comments because, uh, that would be very annoying. So first... Let's just craft a furnace, and we'll burn it. We'll use wood, and, uh, use the furnace. We'll use the furnace to make charcoal and build, um, stuff out of that. I know it's not a great idea to... Ah, here, you zombie. 
I hear you. I don't feel you, but I hear you. I will kill you. I will kill you dead. I will kill you dead, zombie. You got a problem with me? I will kill you dead. Things are gonna go down when I come out. I can't put it on open blocks either, which is kind of stupid. Because normally I let me switch stuff. Alright. Things are going down, Mr. Zombie. He's behind me. He sounds so dang close. It's starting to make me nervous. Alright, now. Oh, wait, no, I have to switch that. Put that there. Put that there. No, I have to burn actual wood. Alright. So now, use that one stick, which, like, burns so fast, to make one item. Hmm. Actually, has some use. Okay. And put that there to make another one. So, once that's done, we'll be able to make, um... Well, significantly slower than normal wood, that's for sure. I kind of like that, so... We're going to need some light sources, and the heat's going to have to be produced off of <coughs> these torches that I'm going to be making, so, which we're going to need if we're going to survive. So, yeah, good luck with that. Looks like it's nighttime, so the night is falling upon us. And I have to do this slow because my mouse is, like, derping on me. For some reason, Minecraft has this bug that now I have to drag things. I can't just click them. Oh, it's fixed. It repaired itself for a second. I don't know if I accidentally put it in the controls or... But, okay. So, place here. Take sticks. Normally I could do this. I'm going to be horrible at the survival games because I won't be able to craft weapons as fast. And people will just go in and be like, That guy's a noob. Kills. Alright, so it's nighttime. We're screwed. I'm stuck in a cave. There's a zombie nearby. There's definitely a zombie nearby. If you guys don't hear him walking, I'm hearing things. But for now, <coughs> let's just light up this cavern. Get it all lit up. Craft my weapons and stuff for the night. <coughs> We're going to need lots of light and lots of sources for survival. So this is our, this is what we're going to call the haven. So welcome to the haven. Now we'll only be able to travel at night, not during the day because of, um, the coldness and stuff. Just because of the fire, you'll end up burning in the daylight. Like, well, ironically zombies. <laughs> so of course they'll burn a lot more than you will, but I'm not worried about that. So these torches are actually a requirement of this. It's not just for lighting. It's raining. You know what? No. 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 Alright. I'm clearing my weather. Let's go outside. Sheep, I'm gonna need you dead. I need your wool. Now, if I don't get this wool now, I'm gonna... I just cleared the weather. Why is the weather not clearing, cow? Alright. A couple things I need. First, I need leather. If I don't get leather, I end up dead. The reason why is because leather protects you from the, um, the cold that comes out at night, so. And that, the, those particles right there, that's actually your breathing, which is meant to show that it's cold out. So the black particles represent your breathing. No, it, no, stop. Clear the weather. Seriously. <coughs> i got no more time for you to mess me up, Minecraft. Seriously, stop. Oh yeah, it's nice. So I can't clear the weather. It's part of the plugin. Okay. I should have been smart, got some <coughs> wheat and dragged them or made them follow me into the haven to save their lives like the ark, but I can't because um you know, right now I don't have any wheat. <coughs> I heard the best place to go is actually the uh tundra biomes for a good reason. So the back I've apparently survived and I just realized I'm really low on wood. So that's not good. Those are supposed to be the night storms. 
This is supposed to be the night storms which uh, come out and represent that the apocalypse has started. Leave bed. I don't want to go to bed yet. So, anyway, if you stand by this torch, the breathing particles go away. <coughs> Sorry, I've got like some weird thing in my throat. But if you stand by the torch, the particles go away. <coughs> the closer you are to light sources, the better you're, the, the warmer you get, therefore you don't end up getting hurt by, well, you know, the, the, the cold, so. Anyway, let's craft a tool <coughs> to mine, uh, to mine some stuff to make, uh, stone tools for us to survive with. I'm a little nervous about the, uh, the night storms. <coughs> I'm supposed to have lightning bombs and stuff, too, the third night, so. I'm not sure that's a good thing, but it's supposed to be interesting. Now, like you'll notice, the further I get into the ground, the colder I'll get. And that actually happens anywhere now. If you go to a tundra biome, the same thing happens. For this specific plugin, it makes that happen only when the plugin's on, of course. But. So right now, if I went into that Taiga biome with no leather on, I would end up freezing to death. I thought that was a cool plug-in piece. <coughs> anyway, I can't move items on top of items, which is a stupid thing. I think it's a glitch in one of the plugins, and I wish I could fix it, but for some reason it's just being a butt face. And I wish that it would get fixed, because it's still on. So we're gonna hit we're gonna create all our items that we're gonna need to survive. We're probably gonna have to and then we're gonna sleep in a chat or sleep in bed. <coughs> Random number 35. So now we wake up. It's daytime, still raining, which it should clear up very quickly. Okay. What you're going to notice almost immediately after today is that if you look up, which if I can find the sun, it's larger. If you look, it's, it's a lot larger. And <coughs> now things are going to get bad. Things are going to get really bad very fast. So, if you don't know, the sun is going to start burning these trees down, and I'm only going to have, I think, about, we'll see, it's amazing, but it's kind of terrifying at the same time. So we had the night storm, why am I not spawning any items? <coughs> there we go, I had a bug, I was latent, you know, lag and stuff, alright. So the trees are going to start burning down. We're only going to have a limited amount of time to collect everything we need to live, so... And it should start very soon. Like, very soon. Wouldn't be surprised if it started the next couple minutes, so... Okay. Man... Oh, okay. If you notice, lava spouts have already hit. Oh, it actually rains lava. Fudge. I'm screwed. Okay. So I don't actually start burning, and there's the first grass spot that's starting to die off. But it's all over there. And dead bushes, the grass is starting to die. Look, see? <coughs> I think now's a good time to get inside. The water's starting to go away, too. Okay, first of all, I forgot to do something. I forgot to make a farm. So before... Every single piece of grass in the world dies. I need to go and start mining grass, make some seeds, make a one by one farm. But <coughs> let's hope that I can make enough stuff for a bucket and collect that water and or somehow figure out a way to siphon it into the base. I'm clever like that. Alright, here we go. Seeds. Now I'm gonna figure out a way. I got fudge. We need to go now. We need to get that water before it goes bye bye. Because if I don't have any water, then we're all screwed. So. There's not enough time. By the time this iron is cooked, I won't have anything to make crops on. <coughs> I don't even have enough stuff. I have no food. Screwed. Crap. Okay. Why am I doing that? That doesn't make any sense. Alright. So let's cook it on this. Since I don't have anything else to cook it on. There's a baby zombie nearby. And it is really starting to freak me out. 
Uh, I mean, seriously. But, wow, okay. If you notice, everything's like cleaned up very quickly. I mean, most of this grass is dying and these leaves are dying. You see the dead bushes and the trees are even changing color to a decayed color. <coughs> Which makes for a very interesting landscape view and things like that. If I could find an apple right now, that would be excellent. But for now, what we need to do is we need to fear one thing. Well, first of all, the, the night is horribly dangerous. Just as dangerous as daytime. If you're not around a light source at night, you will burn. You will not burn, but you will freeze to death. Which is just as easy to do as burn to death. Except for in this, there's no way to stop burning. So once you're inside, you stop burning. Kind of like uh, zombies and stuff. But until then, you're going to burn until you're dead. So let's keep going. Who would have thought those people from Global Warming were right? Oh god, another lava drop. So it starts to rain lava, if you didn't notice. Which, everywhere the lava rains, the grass starts to die. We have to be very smart about this now. You see... <coughs> oh god. This is not good. Okay. I'm not I'm kind of regretting this now. I'm in this little cavern, and you notice the vines are starting to decay in here. So, that's my support for my chicken, or my steak coming. My steak done. I want some steak for dinner. Give me some steak. Yeah. What am I going to do for food? I'm going to have to eat rotten flesh from the dying foes. Okay. First of all, I will not have any way to cross the land without leather, which unfortunately, my source of leather is going to be very, very, very small soon. The day is moving very slow. I think there's a multiplier on it, which means that the day is going to move at twice the rate that the last time it moved. So, wow, okay. Which means I have twice the amount of time to collect what I need before night for the uh, big bang, which is the lava rain and stuff. Oh, just wait, it, it, it's going to get bad. I mean, you can already tell this is getting bad, but it's going to get worse. <clears throat> what I need to find is a herd of cows. I need some food. And I need also I need iron. Which, holy crap. This is what I mean. This is what I meant. Trees are going to start burning up. And throughout the whole day, by the end of today, the whole place is going to be clear. Which means we're all going to be screwed. See what I mean? I mean, that was a big tree. And it just caught on fire. There's another one. So, water sources are declining. If you notice, by the water, the areas where it's targeted, there's the land is starting to burn up. So, let's make sure we keep track of where we're supposed to be, because if we don't, then I'm screwed. Okay, first of all, I need a cow. I could preserve my life by... Okay, first of all, not sprinting. But I had to do that. And see, there was lava that landed in the water. And, and oops, I burped. <laughs> um, lava that landed in the water and turned into cobblestone and we're all screwed and sheep die. What? It's going to die anyway. Okay. It's a good thing I, I found a jungle biome when I spawned. I've heard they're actually relatively rare, but almost every time I make a game, I spawn in them. So, rare my butt. Cow, 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 Again, don't judge me. I'm a cold killer sheep minute. Alright. Ow. Is that an ocelot? What do you know? It is an ocelot. Too bad I don't have any fish. Alright, going up. I could have had a cat to repel the creepers, but, like, that's gonna be much of a problem when the whole start, when everything kicks off. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a real problem. Oh yeah, creepers are my problem, man. There's like creepers everywhere, and I'm gonna die. But uh, I'm a little bit more worried about the uh, solar apocalypse that's coming in. So, <sighs> derp. Hey, sup? You know, it's not really safe up here. There's a bunch of guys that would like to kill you. You know that? You know that? Did you? Ow! Did you know that? Yep. Well, you just found out who it was. Surprise ending. 
Um, <clears throat> here's another one. Here's another cow. Cow. One second. Sorry about that. I um okay. Sorry about that. My mic is still on and um I needed to disconnect for a little while and so we're going to end the episode short here and I'm going to put another episode up with the other half of this day and the night after this and the day after that. So, thank you for watching and have a nice day.